Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode one for a new Let's Try. This is a game, I don't know a ton about it, but I'm sure you guys have probably heard of it or played it yourself. It is a card-heavy RPG strategy type thing. Um, very card-heavy, but it has the good features that the quality card RPGs has. Like, it has a story, but it has um, inventory slots and equipment, you know, like a normal RPG would. So it's got all that cool stuff. I knew I'd be playing it at some point. It's not that obscure or anything, but I wanted to kind of dive in at some point. I think now is the time. So uh, it says I played 46 minutes, but not really. I just kind of dabbled around a couple times in the very opening battles. So this is going to be new for me. Maybe it's new for you too or not, but hope you'll join me on this. Let's go on this journey together of let's try across the obelisk. Very cool. So yeah, like I know it's got a story and stuff, and apparently Paradox is involved. I don't know. I guess they published it, um, which is very cool. Love their games. Uh, so it is a quite deep experience, uh, if I understand correctly. So here we are. As always, we'll hit the settings. Everything looks good. Oh, audio. Check out the gameplay. Fast mode. No. Auto end. No. Show effects. Status effect background. Display a background behind character status, of status effect icons. Yes. Restart combat on defeat. Enable screen shake. Activate keyboard shortcuts. Sure. Follow the leader. You automatically choose the same options as the master of the game. No. All right. Tome of Knowledge is empty pretty much it looks like oh it says i unlock stuff but yeah we'll get into that in the future for show current profiles default let's go ahead and hit play single player game uh, adventure mode unveil the history of synenthia discover new characters unlock cards and fight evil bosses in this roguelite adventure nice so it is a single player adventure mode Let's create a new save, and let's go. It started on the princess's 16th birthday, when suddenly a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. Huh. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest. The old forest? The ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Dormant? Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. Cool. So we start as kind of nobodies. Okay. Want to get rid of that annoying fire effect? Water is a fast way to remove it fully. Here we are. We have Magnus. I have no idea what's going on. Um, our gold, which is used to buy equipment, remove cards, and complete objectives in some events. Our shards, used to craft and transmute cards. Supplies, used to improve a town's buildings and its services. Max 500. This bag contains all the useful items you find during your adventure. That's what I love about this, is that you have like an inventory and stuff like that. It's got the traditional RPG features just with cards as well. Act 1. Um, map Legend. Oh, that's pretty cool. But actually, okay, we have Magnus and Reginald. Um, average energy cost is 1. Of 
course, that's traditional in card games like this top left quarter is how much it costs to cast or use the skill or the card. So his average is one. If we go to Reginald, it's 1.13. He has a bit more of the two energy costs. He can heal. We'll get into this more. He seems to be like a cleric type, divine grace. Wow, character sheet. No kidding. Oh my gosh, I love this already. Wow, that must be speed. I don't know what that is. Cards, he gets five per turn. One, uh, I don't know, but there's all sorts of stuff. Cool, level and traits. Oh my gosh, bruh. He's, I don't know if he is blessed or if we have to l learn that, but there's all sorts of stuff. Equipment. He's got combat bandages. All heroes recover three HP. You can equip a ring, an armor, a weapon, and a pet, I guess. Oh, it says under here. Then there's... Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There's perks. See, I didn't even know about this. Oh my gosh. This is going to be insane. So, okay. Digging it, digging it. Now, if we look at Magnus, back at his hero deck, he's got some attacks. Some defensive stuff. So, yeah, we'll get into this more as we go. I just wanted to uh, check this out. Let's hit the first node. Fields, Kingdoms of Synanthia. We're going to the Lonely Tree for some reason. Okay, we're fighting. Energy management and cards. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. When you end a turn, energy that hasn't been used will be saved for the next turn of this hero. There's the energy. That's the cost. Card targets. This box shows the available targets. Front monster. If there are multiple targets for a card, you'll have to select which one will be affected. If there's only one, releasing the card will automatically select it. Okay. So front monster. Um, bada bing. Let's boom. Two, and if I use the keyboard shortcuts, we go four. Nice. Um, and I guess we'll go... Wait, we can save energy, so let's go intercept. Yes. And, oh, intercept us. It's free, intercept us. And, uh... They're going to... What are they going to do? Oh, you can see their character sheets too, wow. Doesn't say, so we'll just end the turn. Monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movements in anticipation. Whoa. Speed and character order. All characters have a speed value, which can be modified by cards, items, and traits. That value establishes who moves first. In case of a tie, the closest hero to center will have priority. So Reginald goes... Deal flash to that one right there. Boom. Uh, foresight, apply three sight. Reveal one card per. Uh, I mean, sure. Cast it on that one. And heal is two. We'll go ahead and heal ourselves. And uh, end the turn. Oh, almost took him out. He's gonna bleed out. Okay, so we've got. Okay, he's going to gunshot. Well, we have no choice but to attack here. And then we rend. Intercept. And defend on self, I guess. Good shot. Let's go ahead and heal. He's got two energy left. Flash. Victory. 
Okay, you can always choose to fight without accepting a corruption. They are high risk, high reward. Synthia's Tavern, common event. Event roll. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use the cards from their own deck. Synthia's Tavern. You arrive at a nearby tavern and there you meet Andrin, Reginald's brother. After talking to him for a while, he decides to join your party. In a corner of the tavern, you see a woman who seems to be a mage. It would be nice to have someone like her in the party. Do you want to try and recruit her? I will try to convince her. Three or lower. Um, perfect. Roll the one. After speaking with her, she introduces herself as Evelyn and tells you that she's also looking for the princess of Synanthia, so she decides to join you. Awesome. Four-person party all of a sudden. We've got Andrin. Or Andrin. Expert tracker. Some slice. Oh, he's got range. He's pretty dope. Very much a, an attacker type. DPS. His card cost is 1.13. She's got some cold magic. And some lightning magic, it looks like. And some fire magic. She's got... She's a caster. Level and traits. Um, so she's got 11 speed. Andrew's got 19. Magnus has 17. Reginald has 10. Okay, and this must be the energy gain. Or something per turn. All right, cool. Let's head to the next spot. Town. Town actions. You can craft new cards for your decks. Upgrade any card that you have and buy equipment for your heroes. You'll also be able to claim rewards from previous games. Alter. Upgrade your cards and transform them into more powerful versions. Magic Forge. Craft cards for your deck. Oh, Town Tutorial. Go inside the Magic Forge and buy a Fireball card for Evelyn. Go to the Altar and upgrade the Fast Strike card for Magnus. Go inside the Armory and buy a Spyglass for Andrin. Okay, that's cool. Craft cards. Once a card has been unlocked by looting it, you'll be able to craft it for your heroes. Craft the fireball card with Evelyn. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, 60 uh, shards. Let's go ahead and do it. You'll unlock new cards during your adventures. Now go to the altar for the next tutorial step. Transform cards. Paying an amount of shards, you'll be able to upgrade your cards into more powerful versions. Upgrade the card Fast Strike from Magnus. Fast Strike. Oh. Cost of zero deal six. Why is that gold? 60. Does that take 60 gold too? Or deal 11? Um... We're going to go with deal more simply because by the time he pulls one of these cards, he's got all this defend and everything. Like, energy's not really a, a, a factor as much as damage would be. So, bear in mind that the cost of upgrading a card will be based on the rarity of the card. Now go to the armory to finish the town tutorial. Buy equipment for your heroes. In the towns and shops scattered around the world, you can buy items for your heroes that will improve their stats and performance by the Spyglass with Andrin. Combat start applies two sight to all monsters. Nasty. Sight reveals one card per charge and removes one charge at the end of the turn. So Andrin, go ahead and buy the Spyglass. Congratulations, you finished the town tutorial and are ready to begin your adventure. Now that said, there's also a church, a Zingarian cart. Pay gold to the beautiful Zingara and get a divination round. Church, remove cards from your deck. Craft cards for your deck. Um, let's see what else we can craft here. We have some shards to play with. Um, so this would be crafting. Alright, Altar is upgrading. So let's say we want to upgrade a... Suffer 1 fatigue, gain 2 energy, huh? 
say we want to upgrade an aim shot. Deal 16 or deal 8 for one cost. Probably deal 8 for one cost. Let's go ahead and pay the shards. Very simple and very cool. Evelyn, she's got all sorts of damaging stuff. It doesn't deal much damage though. Deal 3. Oh, Frostbolt does. Deal 14, apply 2. Those are her two cards. Grants to Energize, which gains one extra energy per charge at the start of the turn. And one Inspire, draw one extra card per charge. And she's got a three of Fireball. Maybe we can make this a two. Nope. Vanish, the card is removed from the combat when played. We can't even afford to upgrade that. But Frostbolt is potentially... Oh, this is Elemental Word I'm looking at. 14, it could do 16 and apply 2 Chill, which is... Chill is Cold Resistance, 1% per charge, and Speed minus 1 per 5 charges. Versus taking it to a 3. Wow. Mana Gem, gain 2 energy. Gain 2 energy, 1... One energize. Oh, look how much that costs to upgrade. Yeah, not happening. Charge battery. The game knows. <laughs> uh, we'll upgrade a fire blast to do five, I think. And now let's exit and instead of spending every single thing, come here and look. Crossbow damage plus one. Andrin could also use that. Max HP plus four. Damage with hit, apply one sight. We can't afford that. Fiery wand. Ilnim runestone, a weapon for Evelyn. Damage plus one. Fiery one, damage plus one, same price. Get Reginald, use any of them? You can. I guess. I guess anybody can use anything. It's just anything goes. Evelyn, let's give a fiery one. Let's get a um stone four. Damage plus one is nice. She's also got 6% resistance to fire, frost, and electric. All right, cool, very good. Town upgrades. All right, uh, we're ready. Let's roll. Okay, now we get an actual chance. Equipment discovered plus eight. To take a look at the legend a bit and see the energy that's not being used we save for the next turn. Don't waste it when it's not necessary. So we can head into a, a regular combat. A book is an event. A card is a card node. Trying to find one of those. I don't see any. Oh, there's one right above it. Crafter node in the, uh, the anvil. Map transition is way at the end past the boss there. That's a region boss. Quest end. I don't see any quest end. Character. There's definitely some characters with exclamation points around. Interesting. There's rest nodes. Where's a rest node? I don't really see any. And an article shop looks like a little hut. Don't really see any of those either. Oh, there's one right there. All right, so we sort of have to plan our way. Here's some sort of pig character. Here's somebody. Um, this is the carriage trail. This is the town outskirts. This is the Western farmland. Go up here. Uncommon event, it's green, so there's some rarity involved. Heal point. we can get to the boss we can can we even backtrack and stuff and like 
Oh, there's a suspicious hatch, a map transition. That's pretty bizarre. I wonder if we can explore this whole thing or if it's mostly about just get to the end and, and be happy. Article shop. I kind of want to maybe come down here, get this card node. Isolated chapel, some pig guy. Maybe come up here, get this event. It's a common event though. I don't know, let's um... Suspicious Hatch, let's go after the Suspicious Hatch. That seems pretty interesting. So we'll come up here to the Western Farmland and we run into some wild corn. Interesting. Cornies. They have 10% to all damage. Oh, 10% resist to slashing and piercing. Cornies. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Rupture the front monster. Aim shot at any monster. Slice the front monster. Look five. I don't get that look five. Look at five cards, discard any of them. Oh, and grant one ex inspire. Sure. For um, Magnus, I guess. Discard one of them. Let's discard. Defend. I don't know, grant him inspire, whatever. Seems pretty cool. Let's rupture the front monster. Slow minus two per charge, speed per charge. Nice. Oh, front monster, so. Boom. Um. He's got two left. Aim shot, same monster. Slice. Boom. Got Magnus. Uh, fast strike. All monsters apply vulnerable and slow for no no cost. Nice. Do that and then rend a corn. Make the corn bleed, son. Nice. Um. Charge battery. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Get that one extra energize. Uh, fire blast for free. Cool graphics. Um, one extra energy per charge. Yeah, transmission. Use it. Oh, I thought she'd get the energize right away. Maybe she did, but I didn't understand it right. Um, foresight, not really needed, but okay. Divine Grace, Dispel, Heal, Grant, One. Yeah, not really necessary. Leaf Claws. Turn Andrin, Andrin. Um, aim shot at you. Uh, let's go ahead and slice the front monster. Monster's mark. Oh, he has no energy left. Magnus. Rand, bruh. Intercept. Intercept. Oh, they're doing on a random hero. Oops. Rage. Draw one card, gain two energy. Yes. 
Fast strike, nasty. Getting the hang of this. Evelyn, oh boy. I don't even know what this does, but it's free, so let's just do it. Nasty. Uh, fireball for three. Oh, mana jam. Gain two energy. Wow, she's got seven energy, bruh. Boom. And fire blast for free. She's the energy queen. Whoa. During your adventures, you'll discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you will only be able to craft unlocked cards. And we can always choose the shards. Performance bonus, great. Choose one of these cards. Another fast strike. A punch. Front monster for free. Blade storm deal seven and repeat it two times. That's nasty. Um, I might go with a free punch. Everybody likes a good free punch. If I click that again, can I redo it? No. Okay, we've got a rupture, which is always nice. Viper strike the front monster. Lose one HP at the end of the turn. Poison or another slice, which applies mark. Damage taken plus one per charge. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and choose the shards there. Then we've got Evelyn, Ember Storm. Apply one burn. Fire resistance minus 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Suffer one fire damage per turn. Elemental Ward. Ice Lance. Deal four cold damage. Five. Brain. What is brain? Apply two chill. And two insane. Mine resistance minus 1%. Damage done minus 0.5% per charge. Deal four frost, five. What is the brain again? Five mental damage, I guess. Oh, it's free. So yeah, take that. Then we've got detoxify, dispel. Dispel poison and bleed. Grants one buffer, which prevents one curse per charge. That's pretty cool. Infuse courage. Holy shadow and mind resist plus 30%. Shield, six shield, three courage, and mind blast. Apply four insane. Yeah, let's go ahead with mind blast. I think that's a good choice. Boom. All right. Three monsters killed, seven cards unlocked. Let's move to a story event. We can go to the Scorch Field or Tom's Farm. Well, if we're going to get to that suspicious hatch, I suppose we should come to the scorched field. Crops on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burned field and a burning house. In front of the house, there's a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable, but you have to deal with the fire imp and cornies first. Can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. Combat attack the head imp uh the imp head on. <laughs> Stealth hide in the cornfield, attack him by surprise, group five or lower. Everyone draws a card, or I will cast a cold spell. Yeah, let's do Evelyn. I will cast a cold spell to scare the imp. All she needs is a cold spell card. And it is failed. She pulled charge battery. Evelyn miscasts the correct spell and misses the target. The imp notices your presence and attacks you. Evelyn receives low self-esteem. Shameful reminder that something didn't go as planned. It's an injury card, so it should come up in the uh, deck occasionally for her. <laughs> Fire imp. No worries, though. Let's see. Adrenaline. Suffer one fatigue. To gain two energy. Um, we can aim shot the uh, fire imp. And 
and uh, slice front monster, slice the front monster, deflect, slice the front monster, boom, and leave it that way. Hmm. Burning a little bit, let's um. Deal 20 damage. Is it gonna burn? Yep. So, uh, fast strike. Fast strike. It'll burn. Um, intercept. What are they gonna do? Popcorn burst on random hero. Deal 6 damage. Apply 1 fire. Um, enrage. <laughs> Well, monster supply. One vulnerable, one slow. Um, I kind of want to save. Give an intercept to Evelyn. I don't want to save his energy. Corny goes down. Popcorn burst. Oh. Evie, Evelyn. Um. Use that Ice Lance for free. Use it on him. Uh, charge battery on a monster. Let's use it on him. Let's use Fireball on him. Nicely done. Reginald is pointing a little bit. Uh, Smite, gain one bless. Very cool. Wow. Nice holy smite. We'll take out the fire imp. Um, foresight, sure. And it's going to leaf claw the front hero, so let's just... got three slice and to an aim shot Magnus has six who oh, gets a free punch intercept wait is she's going to leaf claw then we'll defend and intercept uh, it doesn't matter much. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Alright. Great performance. Uh, guard, grant 31 block and 1 reinforce, which is slashing blunt and piercing resist plus 30%. Helping hand. Dispel slow and insane and grant one inspire, which is an extra charge. I'll oh, draw one extra card per charge. Um and it removes those curses. Cleave, all monsters deal five. Uh on the hero. Let's go with Cleave. Bada bing, bada boom. We've got Viper Strike. We've got Trace. Look at four cards. Discard any of them. Annoying Whistle. 15 mind damage and apply two insane on a random monster. Annoying Whistle for two. Sure, that's pretty cool. Rain, apply to wet. Lightning damage taken, plus one per charge. Prevents burn. It's free. Scroll of speed, it's free. Grant to speed. On the hero, or flare, deal 12 damage, apply to burning. To a monster for two damage. Yeah, we'll take that, because she seems to have a lot of energy. Foresight, flash, ooh, sacred bolt. Applies to Sanctify, which gives Holy Resistance down. 
and the attacker heals one HP when the target is hit by an enemy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Get that too. Beautiful. Three monsters killed, ten cards unlocked. Uh, you're at the entrance of the burning house. Clearly, this was a poor man's house, and you can see that the contents inside are already destroyed or burned. Before you leave, a chest catches your eye, although the chest is still on fire. The fire is spreading rapidly, and there will be nothing left in a few moments. Will you venture into the flames for a poor man's chest? Loot, rush into the house and try to get the chest out. Group fire, four or higher. Yeah, let's go loot it. Bong, bong, bong. Let's see him. Oh my gosh, we failed. The heat becomes unbearable, and you have to leave the chest behind before the house collapses. Fortunately, you made this decision quickly, and no one was hurt. Phew. Alright guys, this is awesome. I could definitely play this a long time. There's a lot of cool elements. We're 35 minutes in. Um, I'm going to wrap it here because my neck is hurting from peering at this. But uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this early start. Next time we'll head this way to the eastern farmland, the suspicious hatch, then probably the uncommon event, the rest spot, uh, a gate, maybe even come down here to a forest ruins, to the arch, and so on. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But this is interesting too. Here's a, a altar rubble, which goes to a crumbling tower, which is an interesting character event. So, lots of cool stuff. Hope you guys will join me for that. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope to see y'all. Um, thank you for watching, though. Oh, oh wait a minute peeps have disappeared it looks like some of these things are no longer accessible huh like the this must be all that's accessible that's left is what's lit up the icons for see there used to be a pig there that's no longer there so this is all the field we're working with so very cool but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, and if you did enjoy, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, but only do those things if you really want to. Don't feel pressured or anything. It's all good either way. Appreciate you guys very much. Um, until next time, guys, be well, live well, and stay well. We will exit here. And uh, much love, peace, and joy to all of you. Thank you again for watching. More Across the Obelisk and DLC. Uh, to come next time. Peace for now.